Hi there everybody, welcome to the vlog. I am here in front of a truly iconic uh, Canadian recording studio and uh, just a very important spot in the history of Canadian music and it is right behind me. I'm here at 1234 West 6th Street in Vancouver. And if you read the liner notes in many classic Canadian albums, you'll find that address because this in the 1970s was home to Mushroom Records and to Canbase Studios. Uh, these buildings look a lot different from how they used to when they operated as Mushroom Studios, but if you look closely in comparison with these old pictures, they're still the same buildings. They've got maybe a new facade to them. They've been redesigned, but those are the original buildings and the original studio spaces are still in there. Uh, it was built in 1966 by Al Reich. Uh, he worked for and perhaps owned Aragon Recording Studios, uh, which worked with uh, making lots of jazz recordings and such. But for the most part, after this studio was built in 1966 here, uh, it was used by the CBC to record, uh, well, big bands and like orchestral scoring and stuff like that. But occasionally pop and rock groups would show up there. Uh, the story goes that at some point the Supremes uh, Diana Ross and the Supremes, of course, uh, were appearing in an episode of Tarzan and they'd recorded a song specifically for it. And uh, something had happened to the recording or something and it hadn't worked out. So while they were here in town to play at the Cave Nightclub, the nightclub, the legendary nightclub in Vancouver that no longer exists, while they were in town to play there, they had to stop and re record that song for that and they went right here. Um, at Van Bass Studios to do it. I've also read that Led Zeppelin did some recording here in the late 60s, maybe the early 70s, but I haven't actually been able to find out what exactly was recorded here. Uh, let me know if you guys know exactly what Led Zeppelin did here. I'm not exactly sure. But in any case, apparently Al Reich was getting a little bit annoyed with the direction of the studio. The artistic direction it is. Maybe he didn't enjoy rock and roll, but in any case he wound up selling the studio uh, in 1971 to Jack Hersharn and he's the one who rechristened this Van Bass Studios and got so many legendary groups uh, in to record here and eventually they wound up starting their own record label. Uh, they called it Mushroom Records. It was founded in 1974 and would become home to many, many Canadian acts. Uh, most notably Hart uh, and also Chilliwack did a lot of work for that studio. Uh, Hart put out their legendary Dreamboat Annie album here. And then the following year, Hart began work on the follow-up album, which would become Magazine. But while they were working on it, uh, they became upset with the uh, way Mushroom Records was promoting them, uh, basically using sexuality uh, to sell their records. They weren't really appreciative of that, so they had a long legal battle with Mushroom and eventually ceased all uh, recording work with them. But what Mushroom Records wound up doing in uh, the spring of 1977, they put out the magazine album uh, without any creative input from Hart at all as to the finishing of that record. And so the album that mentions that it's been recorded at Mushroom Records Studios in Vancouver, BC, where we are now, uh, also includes the little write-up at the bottom here. Mushroom Records regrets that a contractual dispute has made it necessary to complete this record without the cooperation or endorsement of the group Heart, who have expressly disclaimed artistic involvement in completing this record. But then in 1978, Heart eventually made their own version of that album without uh, Mushroom's involvement, and they continued their careers elsewhere. Like I said, Chilliwack did a lot of recording here. Um, they put out three albums uh, on Mushroom Records that are now iconic in the world of Canadian music. They put out Dreams, 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 Lights from the Valley, and then finally Breakdown in Paradise in 1979. Uh, I know Rick Dees was also on the label recording, but I think it was approximately 1979 that uh, Mushroom Records pretty much ran out of money I know they had a lot of trouble uh, promoting and distributing Chilliwack's Breakdown in Paradise album and uh, the record label wound up closing 
1980. But these studios here lived on as Mushroom Studios for years to come. Uh, groups like 5440 uh, would record here. Uh, Loverboy would record here. Bachman Turner Overdrive would record here. Uh, so many legendary acts. Eventually, uh, probably due in no small part to the state of the recording industry in the last couple of decades, eventually Mushroom Records stopped uh, functioning as a recording studio. But eventually in 2006 it was bought out by Hippo Sonic Records and this became their Hippo West Studios for a few years. Only lasted till about 2010 before they announced that they were moving into a new location and that they were taking and just gutting all of the recording equipment out of these legendary studios uh, for good. And this was very sad to me when I read that, but I'm very happy to report that since then it's gotten a new life of its own. It's now Afterlife Studios, which is an excellent name uh, for the use of such a legendary facility. It really is a new afterlife um, for the facility. Uh, very cool. It still functions as uh, Afterlife Studios to this day. Although at the very least, the uh, front building here is operated by whatever Analysis Works is. Perhaps it's the big red building back here that houses the actual studio buildings. I'm not really sure. I do know that all of these buildings here um, have been here since at least the 70s. So, very iconic, very historical. And yes, hopefully music continues to be recorded at this facility for years and years to come. And who knows, I'd love someday to be able to record some of my own music here. That would be crazy. Um, but that provides a good segue into <laughs> that you can check out my description for links to where you can find my music, where it is sold or streamed online. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I was thrilled to make a sort of pilgrimage over here uh, to this legendary studio. Hope you enjoyed it as well. Uh, yeah, like this video if you like what you saw, subscribe to my channel if you've been enjoying my videos, and you can ring the notification bell too if you want to be notified whenever I upload a new video, which should be real soon. Thank you so much for watching. Maybe give some of your old Mushroom Records a spin. Um, <laughs> there's some great albums released by Mushroom over the years. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Really enjoyed coming out here. Catch you again real soon. <laughs>